Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question about refraction, looking at what happens when light passes from one material or medium to another. We'll also be looking at total internal reflection and how to calculate the critical angle. Here's a question from the 2013 revised higher paper. A student places a glass paperweight containing air bubbles on a sheet of white paper. The student notices that when the white light passes through the paperweight, a pattern of spectra is produced. The student decides to study this effect in more detail by carrying out an experiment in a laboratory. A ray of green light follows the path shown as it enters an air bubble inside glass. Then we see the following diagram. We're told that the refractive index of the glass for this light is 1.49, then asked to calculate the angle of refraction theta inside the air bubble. Now technically, the absolute refractive index N of a medium is calculated by dividing the sine of the angle in a vacuum by the sine of the angle in the medium, although in practice we use the angle in air as theta 1. It's important to remember that whether the light's passing from air to glass or from glass to air, theta 1 is always the angle in air and theta 2 is always the angle in the medium. So the angle we're being asked to find is theta 1, which can be found by rearranging the equation like this. If we substitute our values of refractive index and angle in glass, we get 1.49 times sine 19, which is equal to 0 0.485. Remember that this is the sine of the angle in air. So angle theta 1 is equal to sine to the minus 1, 0 0.485, which is 29 degrees. Part B of the question asks us to calculate the maximum angle of incidence at which a ray of green light can enter the air bubble. Now if you're not sure what the question is asking, here's a demonstration. The green light passes along the normal at an angle of 0 degrees in glass, then into air. The angle in air is also 0 degrees. Now remember that although the ray of light isn't bending, it is refracting, because its velocity and wavelength are both changed as they enter the new medium, although frequency is constant. Anyway, as the angle in glass increases, you can see that the green light is partially reflected and partially refracted into the air bubble. This continues until the refracted ray is 90 degrees to the normal. The angle of incidence at this point is known as the critical angle, theta c. This is what we've been asked to calculate. Any increase in the angle of incidence in glass will lead to the ray of light being totally internally reflected, with no light being refracted. To calculate critical angle theta c, we use this equation. Sine theta c is equal to 1 divided by n, where n is refractive index. So sine theta c is equal to 1 divided by 1.49, which equals 0 0.671, meaning that the critical angle is equal to sine to the negative 1, 0 0.671, which equals 42.1 degrees. In part c, we're told that the student now replaces the ray of green light with a ray of white light, and asked to explain why a spectrum is produced. So, first let's change the diagram slightly. To explain then, we'll use the equation from before. Remember that white light contains a range of wavelengths, from red light with the largest wavelength and smallest frequency, to violet light with the smallest wavelength and greatest frequency. So green light would follow the same path as it did before. However, violet light has a greater refractive index, so the sine of the angle in air and therefore the angle in air itself would be larger, as you can see in the diagram. Red light has a lower refractive index, so the sine of the angle in air is lower, as would be the angle in air itself. So we'd write something like this. Each colour or frequency of light has a different refractive index. The angle in air is therefore different for each colour. So there you have it. Look out for my other past paper solution on refraction when it comes out. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.